Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, do some integration tests with a testing framework called Capybara. Uh, so integration tests are basically tests that uh, test the application when you combine components together and make sure the components interact in a cohesive and the proper way you intended it to and not have any bugs. So to install Capybara, which is the testing framework, we first have to install it into our gem file. Uh, so if you go to your gem file, you can see that in the group test, I have included the Capybara gem. Another way to install it is well, gem install Capybara, which will install the testing framework Capybara. Okay, and to make sure you have Capybara, you can go gem info Capybara, and it should show the right version number, meaning it's installed. Okay, so first let's start with our route. <laughs> let's assume that we have a login page and we want to test that on clicking the login button the user is redirected to a new URL how would we test this we can't do it you can't do this test in a traditional unit test right or an integration test right so you need capybara so this is what we'll do first we'll set up the login functionality okay through this so let's go to our routes.ruby uh, file. In the routes, we declared three routes. This is going to be the route that's going to render the login form. This is going to handle the post request from the login form submission. And this is the route to redirect to upon successful uh, login. Okay. So now let's go to our controller session controller so session controller will handle the login functionality so as you can see i have three actions this will render the view a uh, new uh, html we'll go over that later uh, this will so upon successful login the create action will redirect to the welcome route and the welcome route was uh, defined in our routes as welcome. So it'll go to this action and then the welcome action will render the welcome view, okay? So now we have our action set up. Let's go to our views. So this is the login form. This login form will send a JavaScript Ajax request to the session controller, create, okay? And then it will submit the form. Now, let's go to our integration test. Okay. Let's go to test session controller, okay. So in capybara.wizard, this tells capybara to go to the new URL. The new URL is going to render the login form. So if we go start up our survey. Just hold on a second, it takes a while. Now let's go to localhost, new. And let's see if it works, yes, okay. So now you have this login form. Upon button click, upon clicking this button, we want to redirect, which we can see it does, but let's test it anyways. So capybara visit new, that tells capybara to visit this new URL. Okay. Then when you use capybara.fillin, 
it fills in the username with admin basically doing this password with the same thing admin basically typing admin again and now we're saving the current path the current path is this new we're saving new in the variable old path this is done to ensure we have a reference to compare to okay now we click the input uh, input of type submit we click this and this is going to be our login button this when we click we sleep for one and one, uh, one tenth of a second this is done to ensure the application has enough time to process and respond to the click event we just did okay without this you might run into some errors so make sure to include sleep now we check the current path again now if it successfully redirected the new path should not be the same as old path and which is what we're doing here assert not equal old path new path so this checks if old path is not the same as new path and if it's not it uh, shows a success message okay now let's kill the server and run our test command controllers by the way so this is a shorthand syntax if you want to run an individual file you can specify the route here and then include the uh, line number at which the specific test starts so in this case it starts at 8 so we can include 8 and it's gonna run I'll type over here. Yeah, so it's running the test, and as you can see, zero failures, zero errors, so our test passes. Now, let's see if this is actually doing its job. Let's go to create and cancel the redirect welcome. Now, the test should fail. As you can see, a one failure occurred. See, new not to be equal to uh, this. So new was the same as new, which means it did not redirect. Okay, but if we include this back in and run the test again, we can see that our test pass. Okay, and so that was a basic unit test using Capybara. And by the way, if you do bin rails instead of just rails, what bin rails does is it runs the rails bin file, bin uh, stub, this. So it runs this file instead of the standard rails. So it's just a little uh, trick I use to avoid some error messages I'm getting. So that's all for today, uh, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe and see you guys next time.